this is the day that the hurricane is supposed to start to hit. It is starting to look more like a hurricane. We've got four minutes until we lose power. Because I know you lived through a hurricane when you worked at Disney. Yes. Why do you feel like one of the weather guys that are on the beach? Yeah, everyone was safe and uh, we made the most of what could have been a horrible situation. Good morning, everybody. It's 6.51 in the morning on Wednesday. This is the day that the hurricane is supposed to start to hit uh, our area. It's supposed to happen in the afternoon, but Katie has, <laughs> Katie's on her way right now to Jacksonville. She's with a bunch of friends and they left Tallahassee at 5.30 this morning on the way to Jacksonville. She's been sending me updates. She's like, mom, is it windy yet? Is it windy? Because you're right outside the eye. So no, Katie, just, there's just rain and there's just really weird sound. Do you hear that? Mike says it's the frauds, I, and I was thinking about all the little animals out there. What are they going to do? So I was like, no, it's not windy at all. Then I get up and I come outside and I'm like, oh, the wind just started. Um, so we'll keep you informed. Mike's awake. Re Brennan stayed in Tallahassee and Ryan fell asleep last night at like right when we were trying to get his hair cut in the car. So then he came home, went straight upstairs, went to bed. So I'm going to say that was 630. So he's been sleeping all night. All of our preparations are done. We are ready to go, I think. All right, you guys, now they're saying that it could be a category five hurricane when it hits, when it makes landfall. I'm gonna go ahead and put the sandbags down here. We did not shutter this door, hurricane shutter it. I might live to regret that, but if we shutter this door, then we don't see anything. And I think it might be freaky um, because it's claustrophobic and we wanna see what's going on. So. When the eye of the storm comes through, when it starts to get pretty powerful, we're gonna go in the rooms that are shuttered and um, and wait it out there. We don't have a TV in that room though, so I guess we'll have to just wait it out. Anyway, um, you can see Mike's watching the TV right there. It's constant um, hurricane updates. Let me show you what's going on outside right now. You can see we're starting to get some flooding right along here, along the golf course, and some wind. It, it, we've had some gusts, but it hasn't been too terrible yet. Hey guys, it's getting a little bit more intense. I'm in there editing, trying to get this video up before the power goes out. The light has flickered um, a couple times. The lights have flickered a couple times. What time is it, Mike? It's, uh, quarter, to quarter to 10 right now, and it's starting to get much more intense out here. You can see on the golf course, look at the rain is like just going that way. Don't give up. All right, guys, so Don't give up. Ah, the lights keep, keep flickering. Please, I'm editing. I really don't want to run out of power. Not only because I'm editing, but we just don't want to run out of power. But it is, it's is—it's—it's intensifying, I will say that. All right, you guys, I hope I get this video to you. Ryan is finally out of bed. Ryan, you know what you have to do. Hey, Mike, can you make, wait, is that for tomorrow? Is that coffee for tomorrow? Yes. Can you make me some coffee right now? Assuming there is a tomorrow. <laughs> there might not be a tomorrow. Call me, a, call me an optimist. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't buy uh, yellow bananas, they say, right? <laughs> okay, here's the <laughs> We've got four minutes until we lose power. Here's Anything the past 10 o'clock is gravy. That's and if I'm not eating a warm, homemade, chocolate chip, bendable rind cookie, at some point during this hurricane, I'm putting you outside. <laughs> Ryan has been promising. We went and got cookie ingredients. Ryan has been promising to make cookies because that's what you do in preparation for a hurricane, and it still hasn't happened. Preheating. Everything's right. right in there. Preheating. Preheating now. Hurry, hurry. All right, we moved the rest of the plants in. Good job, Mike. This is an interesting um, happening, I should say, is we've been asked by the news to uh, participate in a Zoom call about the hurricane. So you guys might see us on ABC. So. I'll try to get it out to y'all on social media if, um, if we're going to be on there. I don't know if it's going to be live or not or if it's going to be recorded, but we might be on the news. 
Did you know that, Ryan? What? We might be on the news. No they, shot. Yeah, they want to do a, a, a Zoom call with us about what's going on with the hurricane. Actually? Yeah. You won't be because you'll be making <laughs> cookies. <laughs> Thank you. Alice is nonplussed about the whole thing, but I will say she's been by my side the whole time. She won't leave me, so I think she might know something's up. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. We just have the TV on constantly because that's all that the news is on is telling us about it. Look at that, Ryan. Can you believe it? I wish I had a little pool for me. I just. Oh my gosh. Drift right down the throat. Well, we do have some noodles. <laughs> we do have some noodles. We do. It's getting a little bit more intense. All right, I got to finish editing. Bye. Good job, right guy. Great. Doing what's important. Um, this is just the behind the scenes heroes that you don't really hear about. <laughs> right. I mean, sure, you got the guys going out on Clearwater Beach reporting the whole hurricane, but you know, who's back at home making the cookies? <laughs> that's, that's right. What, that's what I thought. These are the unsung heroes right These here. These are the unsung heroes of the war. <laughs> that's a great question. All right, Ryan has got his cookies ready. They look spectacular, but he won't even let me eat a little piece of dough, and I feel like he's chewing that right now. Are you no, I'm just chocolate chips. I swear. Oh, I see. Okay. He just asked how long until he can get back out on the golf course. I think it's going to be a few days. Days? At least. I was thinking like. It's going to be what? Once it stops. Like, <laughs> no, I don't think so. I'm thinking during the eye. Mm -hmm. If it comes over, yeah, go out and play a few holes. Oh, sure, because it'll be calm. Yeah. Yeah, but it's going to be really wet. There's a lot of puddling out there. So, you guys, also, I just would like to say a little something here, a little something, something, that I don't want you to think we're taking this lightly because we're really not, but we definitely live by our adage, which is the difference between an ordeal and an adventure is your attitude. So, listen, we've done all, our, all of our prep that we can do. We are waiting, and um, it really is a waiting game at this point. And eventually, we'll close the doors and shelter in the place and all that in in the room with the hurricane shutters. But um, until then, it's just okay. Let's make the best of it, right? So uh, our heart and thoughts and prayers go out to all those people who are affected even more than we are. I know that it's it's uh, the hurricane at this point has hit some points farther south and um, they're bracing as well for a direct impact. So hopefully um, they have all been um, prepped in their, in their evacuation, in their shelters and all that stuff. But in the meantime, we're just gonna wait it out and um, make cookies and keep using electricity until we can't use electricity anymore. <laughs> oh, we're gonna make some breakfast. It's I actually just... crazy how like, much we are in the path. Yeah. Like it's coming right for us. Yeah. Like right for us. Yeah. Did you see that? Did you see the thing? Like, like the two counties that are highlighting are just us and like the one south. Like regions. Yeah. Just smack at us. Crazy. Anyway. Welcome to Florida. Whoa. Yeah. Our initiation uh, didn't take <laughs> that long, did it? No, not at all. We got. Hold on. Let's see the most fun things we've done. Okay. We've seen countless alligators. Yes. You have been on the golf Publix course. multiple times. Yeah, it's correct. We haven't been to Waffle House. Oh, is that a Florida thing? Yeah, very. I didn't realize that. We can go to Waffle House. You think Waffle House is closed? I bet they're still open. Yeah, no, they're not open right I now. I bet they're open. No way. What do you think is actually closed now? No, okay. What else have we done that's Florida? We've um, gone to the beach. Yeah, of course, obviously. We have um, played golf countless times. Played golf. Um, we haven't been to Disney since we've been down here. That's a very, Dis that's a very Florida we've thing. We've been to downtown Disney. Since we've been here? Yeah. Oh. We yes, we did. Place. Yes, we... Oh, and you know what? I take that back. We went to Beaches and Cream. And we just have, haven't been to the parks. You know, you know the parks are closed. Do you know that? Right now. All of Walt Disney World is closed today and tomorrow. I'd imagine. And I was wondering, hey, Michael. Yes. Being an ex-Disney um, executive. Yes. Or manager or whatever. Did they... Do they have hurricane shutters? Like, what do they do? Because I know you lived through a hurricane when you worked at Disney. Yes. So what's the preparation? What's that like? Well, primarily it's a lot of horticulture, so that they uh, pull a lot of trees, and uh, there's actually a contingency plan to take the spires off the castle. Wow, really? Yeah, they won't do it now because um, it'll probably be a Category 1 by the time it gets to Orlando, but like for a Category 5, they can dismantle the spires so they don't you know, fly off and yeah. screw somebody, right? Right, holy cow. But it's mostly a horticulture thing because they've got a... Uh, uh, 
plant farm that they um, they can replace trees and all that stuff. So they lose a lot of trees, and they're pretty good at replacing them uh, pretty quickly. Okay, but my question is this: What about like all the windows on Main Street, and what about like the the windows in the Contemporary Hotel and the windows in the ho in people's individual hotel rooms? What happens there? Well, they've got ride out crews, and a buddy of mine, Don, is a ride out crew guy. He's there now, and um, and they just take care of things as they occur. Okay, so they don't put like I was thinking maybe they would have hurricane shutters that they like pull down over the windows and stuff, but they no, don't have not that. Hotels, no. Oh boy. Okay. Well, they're inland too, so they probably don't get the brunt They'll of it. Probably okay. Yeah, more water than anything. Probably flooding. Is... Yeah, I feel bad for all those folks, those guests that lost their vacation. Though. I know. Maybe I they can reschedule. So, um, all right, we're just hanging out. Ryan, tell me when those cookies are going to be ready. Um, do we have another pan? Yes, we do. Oh, then it's going to be way faster. Fantastic. Dude, if these, this is what hurricane cookies look like, sign me up. What, you want a hurricane? Well, a hurricane not, again? not necessarily, but can you pretend it's a hurricane so you can right. make cookies like that? Like they look problem. so professional. They tried to rush me. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. You can't do that. Can't. Well, I wasn't building a day. Perfect cookies weren't made <laughs> in 30 minutes. That's right. Um, so anyway, we're trying to make as much food as we can, basically, uh, before this thing, you like, goes pretty haywire mm -hmm. and um so i think i might start on some bacon eggs to be that honest. sounds like a good idea yes we some should toast. eat yeah because we won't be able to make those also i don't want to just want to eat up and directly or er, wake up and just eat cookies eat, like, yeah that'd be cookies. bad yeah, yeah and something that's whoa little flash of uh power oh geez Lightning. something that's uh -oh. different about this stove and our stove in maryland is this one is not a gas stove this one is an electric stove so if our power goes out we are donezo whereas in maryland so, so do the cookies if our power goes exactly out, so, so the cookies in maryland we had a gas stove so all we would need to do is just light the propane and we could cook throughout the whole the whole right. time so we just eat it. the cookie off yeah if it goes out i'm in <laughs> Yeah, sure, Eric would be better off. <laughs> well, that's what we were trying to cut, cut his hair so he wouldn't uh, get blown away during the whole hurricane. <laughs> Alright, you guys, we are having 60 mile an hour sustained winds now. You can tell by, oh gosh. Quite windy out there. I'll show you the golf course side too. Um, the winds are definitely picking up. So I'm not sure how much I'll be able to film outside moving forward, and we're going to start to get away from windows too. Um, that's what's happening. Oh. It is starting to look more like a hurricane and less like a standard storm. The wind gusts, they said, like a, I just mentioned, 60 miles an hour. Um, I think it'll be fairly difficult to walk out there at this point. There's our flag, and more sideways wind. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys, yeah. we're not rooting for it to go off. Yeah. We stay on, stay on. It has been flickering. The power has been flickering on and off. It's on, it's off. Hot <sighs> springers. I know, stay on, stay on. You guys have finished the cookies. They're very good. Oh, did you eat the oatmeal ones? Good. These are the oatmeal chocolate chip. And these are regular chocolate. This is Ryan's. He did these. And these are oatmeal chocolate chips. And we have in here, look at this. I did some pulled pork. I can't remember I told you about it, but I pulled it. There we go. It's ready and keeping warm as long as we have power. And when it goes, we will um, put it in the fridge. Are, uh, in the path of uh, Hurricane Ian, which is on its way directly pretty much over the top of our house here in just a few hours. I've stayed around. Um, again, just because of where we are. If we lived in Siesta Key or on Longboat Key or on Fort Myers, the island, certainly everybody would have skedaddled. But at this Mike and I were just interviewed by, I think it's ABC News. I think it's day, no, Nightline Mike, something like that? Yes. I'm not sure how that came up. You have some contact. And next thing you know, we got interviewed. <laughs> so you guys might see us on the news. I'm not sure if you do. Like I would, I don't know if we're gonna know if we're gonna be on the news, but if you see us, let us know.
Ryan, what the heck? Was Listen, it? I wanted to feel like one of the weather guys that are on the beach. So okay. I threw on this jacket. Okay. And I went out. It was fun. <laughs> was it? I took a whole weather reporting video. Oh, send it to me. I'd love to but see it. Yeah, it's fun. The wind, like once it started picking up, it's got like you kind of lean back into it. Oh, sure, sure, sure. It's not going to get as bad as like where it would tumble me over. So I think I'm okay out there. All right, well, And there's for no now. lightning. Like, if there's lightning, I wouldn't be Yeah, out. no, but no, like, no. All right. Yeah, there hasn't been lightning. It's actually quite fun. You're like a Jim Cantori. Whoever that is, I bet I am like him. <laughs> hey, guys. I just wanted to give you an update. It is 3.20. And um, the eye of the hurricane is quickly approaching. This area right here was just a little puddle earlier today. Now it's a full-blown stream. The um, winds are picking up quite he heavily. Um, here comes Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Hey, guys. <laughs> I put on this jacket to uh, feel like a weatherman, and I went out and like did a little, did a little video. But yeah, <laughs> I, feel, uh, I feel like a weatherman. And to be honest, this is kind of what I imagined for it to be like. Yeah. Like, I'm I mean, not even that surprised. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, we're going to, um, the winds are getting very strong, and um, we're going to head inside. <laughs> you see our flag? Yeah, we put, oh, wow, yeah, see that it's right there? It's a little there? homemade flag. Just uh, so we could. You'll see it on the win. blog. Here's a little update for you guys. Uh, it's not doing too hot. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Yeah. All right, so anyway, don't worry. We are safe. We are fine. We're going to go back inside and hunker down, mm -hmm. and um, we, we think that the um, eye is probably going to pass in the next two hours, so we're going to. What do you guys do? Be it's safe. So <laughs> okay, hope uh, all the other people in Florida, please stay safe. See you guys soon. Central Command looks like. Got Mike over in the corner, I'm over in this corner, you got Alice right here. We've got a little snack roller going on. Edward's snoozing there. We have constant storm update going on while the storm is actually going on right outside our window. Ryan's over here. Oh, where did he just go? He was making himself a pulled pork sandwich and he of course left everything out. There's the pulled pork. I think I already showed you that. Hey, we should play chess. Play chess? Play yeah, chess? we'll have plenty of time, I'm sure. Liz, you want to get on the vlog? Oh, there's Elizabeth. Is Elizabeth? Hi, Elizabeth. She still lives Hi. in. She still lives in Maryland, like a. She, she just had regular school. She went to Chick Fil A. Imagine. It's actually like a nice day there. <laughs> it's, is it beautifully sunny there? Yeah, actually. That's nice. They're gonna Lucky get some you. aftershock of it, I think, right? Yeah, probably, maybe. Just maybe a little drizzle. bit of sprinkle. Oh, well, these look good. Can I touch? <laughs> Can you touch? No. Are you gonna open my sandwich? I'm just telling everybody what's going on. They've seen so much outside, they haven't seen anything of what's going on inside. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, it is intensifying in a huge way. Can you hear that? Woo! The good news is, Mike just realized too that the way that the wind is coming, we're tucked in here. So for example, the houses on the other side, they're getting whipped with wind. And we're just tucked in here, which is really, really nice. I feel bad for them. I feel bad for all the people who are getting this storm worse than we are. But we are um, pretty tucked in here, so I think things should be okay for us. Knock on wood. <laughs>
something. Playing a sport where the wind affects it. You know, isn't too nice to play in a hurricane. Well, you know. That is a workout. You ever looking for a workout? Find the nearest hurricane and run against the wind. <laughs> when the when the first you went all the way over there, I saw you and then I didn't see you and I was like, oh no, I'm yeah. gonna fall into that. Did you get a video of me like running down the fairway? Yes. It's the farthest I've ever thrown a frisbee. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah it's <laughs> Edward is his first venture out onto the lanai. I think he has been very curious, but sleeping a lot. <laughs> He's like, what is happening? These are our sandbags, obviously. That's cat stress, Jill. It is cat stress, Mike. Yeah. You think? You think you don't think he's stressed? Well, cat stress is napping. Right, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys saw our Instagram story, you saw these guys, how stressed they really were today. They were totally slumped the whole day. We have a scaredy cat. Where's the scaredy cat? Is she being a scaredy cat? Hi, meow, meow. Hi, sweet girl. Look at all these leaves and stuff on the inside. Hi. You guys, we are so fortunate to still have power. Honestly. Honestly, that right? That was like, you better make them cookies because it's going out fast. <laughs> right? We thought by 10 o'clock power was would be done. I was stuff. Right. But it, here it is, what, like 8 o'clock, and we're making dinner, 7.57. We're able to microwave power. our dinner, huh? A lot of my friends lost power, though. Yeah, oh, that's such a shame. Such yeah. a shame. I think we are in a, a good position because our house is not that old. Okay. So, and it's pretty insulated, which is nice. Anyway, it's been a very interesting day. It's been a very fortunate day. Oh, that's my dinner. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. This is um, chicken parmesan that I made last night. We have some leftovers. Hurricane dinner. Thank you, hurricane dinner. Really not that, like, different from actual dinner. <laughs> Just but we're trying to save, like, hurricane. utensils, so I'm using a, like, a regular... Cutting a paring knife. knife. A paring knife, right. Same knife I used to cut the chicken. <laughs> Why would they make a new difference in a hurricane? Because we're trying to save utensils, Dad. Because we, we don't want to use water, we, but we don't want to use a bunch of water. water. Yeah, so it's been a, it's been an interesting day. It's been a very fortunate day for us. We, it was sort of like waiting, like someone described it as racing a turtle, just sort of waiting for the next thing to happen. And really, for us, not much happened. I mean, it did get, there's a lot of wind, there's a lot of rain. I'm anticipating when we go to bed tonight, we will still have wind and rain. I'm anticipating tomorrow morning the wind and rain will have dissipated at least a, a lot they did say that in our area that there's supposed to be sustained winds like 50 mile per hour till tomorrow afternoon so i don't know but i think that we're pretty safe and um we'll get to see the aftermath tomorrow and um at some point get to help those who weren't as fortunate so we'll wait to hear all that information and then go from there so all right you guys it is time to call this one a day wrap it up it was crazy. It was a crazy day. I'm so happy our power stayed on. Me like, too. Is that what made you happy? So That's what made me happy. Really? really? Uh, no, if we're gonna hop right in, it won't make me happy. Well, we don't have to. Out of. But you just said I'm just so happy. Yeah. The power stayed on, so I thought maybe that's what made you happy. Exactly. So, uh, hurricane summary: power stayed on. We were vibing. Uh, you guys got on the news, which was sick. I, mm -hmm. uh, we and Dad went out. I skimboarded, we played some frisbee, it was fun. Go check, out, go check out my TikToks, I made some TikToks today <laughs> that were pretty fire. And then, uh, what else? We made cookies. I had a really good dinner. Mm -hmm. Chicken parm. What made you happy, Mike? Well, thanks for asking. Uh, power on, good family time, and um, hanging and playing frisbee in a hurricane. So <laughs> <fun>. How can <laughs> you do that? Yeah, right? <laughs> Um, maybe happy day was experiencing my first hurricane. Well, not really, but in Maryland we had like one hurricane, one and you or two were hurricanes. Little. I was really little. Can first I hurricane I can remember, and uh, it was kind of fun. But still, I'm seeing all the stuff on the news about the coastal cities. Oh, it really got it. Sorry, I keep saying it's fun. Hurricane yeah, I know. Fun. We it's only fun because we 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 were fortunate enough to yeah. be in a good spot for it. Really, yeah. it could have been horrible. It came in um, uh, well south of us, uh, but still a lot of coastal cities devastated. A lot of people lost a lot. So, so Our prayers and thoughts definitely go yes. out with all those people. And, and you thoughts. know what will happen is um, tomorrow and the next day and the next day, you know, when, when the sun comes up again and, and the, the storm is out, we will see what's going on and then we'll be sure to oh, we'll uh, do right what there. we can to help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um, what we happy today is 
being blessed enough that the power stayed on, no one got hurt, no one got injured. It was this mean the same thing. <laughs> uh, no one, um, yeah, everyone was safe and uh, we made the most of what could have been a horrible situation. So yeah. that's what I have today. I agree with you, my guy. What made me happy today, I think, was um, just being um, being with everybody, yeah. like being with everybody. And, you um, know, we just kept waiting and waiting and waiting for something to happen and nothing happened. I mean, not, I can't <laughs> say nothing happened. Like where we were, it just got really, really windy and really, yeah. really wa rainy. Now, tomorrow there might be some, you know, stuff like the aftermath of flooding and that kind of thing. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, and hearing from a lot of my friends today was really nice mm -hmm. and being able to... Um, just be with you guys. Yeah. So again, our thoughts and prayers definitely and uh, go to all those who lost so much. And for those tomorrow where the hurricane is going on to Orlando and Jacksonville. Yeah, they're supposed um, to get like two feet of rain. Yeah, so let's, uh, our prayers are for, with them too. Absolutely. Yes. So it was quite a day, one we will never forget. For real, honestly. Right? Yeah. You guys, we hope you enjoyed today's vlog. We hope you are safe wherever you are. Comment down below what made you guys happy today. See you tomorrow. Peace. For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.